Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Gamerator back again here. And uh, so we're going to play Final Fantasy 3 or 6 today. Um, I haven't played this game in forever. Uh, this game came out when I was, I think, 4 years old. It's about to turn 20 in uh, North America. It's already 20 years old in Japan. So, pretty cool game. I just wanted to play it and uh, kind of share my thoughts with you. This is a great game. Um, let's move on here. And let's, oh, apparently there's no new game. Let's, uh, I'll leave this for you guys to read here. I love this game. The music just makes this game for me. Completely makes the game. Excellent. So for those who have never played Final Fantasy VI before, I hope this is uh, something that you like. For people who have, I hope it's something that you like as well. Biggs and Wedge. Somewhat staples in Final Fantasy, I guess. Or this is Vix. Biggs and Wedge, I believe, are in um, Final Fantasy VIII? Is it VIII? Well, so apparently she's uh, insanely powerful. Alright. Move out, man! Let's go! So just as uh, any Final Fantasy game, the game starts a little bit slow, so uh, here's some more story, I believe. No, this is just, um, that's just uh, credits, so we're going to move on here. Alright, so we get to control now, finally. Okay. And the town we're in is called Narsh. Um, interesting name for a town. But um, listen to that music right now. If it's good for nothing else, it's good for some uh, head bobbing, that's for sure. If you ask me, this is one of, um, if you don't know the composer of Final Fantasy, um, the guy's name is Nobuo Uematsu, if I'm saying that right. If I'm butchering it, I apologize, because the man is a legend. In my opinion, he's a legend. Um, the, I think this is one of his best soundtracks he's ever done in his time with Final Fantasy. He's not there anymore, but I think it's fantastic. There's not much else you could do to make this soundtrack better, and this is something that's been remixed a jillion times. Um... Gotta love it. You have to love this music. So how's everybody doing today? I'm having a fantastic day. I'm always having a fantastic day, apparently. Because I say it a lot. But I'm having an actually fantastic day. Um, playing a fantastic game. And how are you guys doing? Um, I hope you're having a fantastic day as well. Um, earlier today we filmed our new Let's Talk. Um, about death in video games, and that was kind of cool. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, really awesome video. Kind of relevant, because uh, my favorite... Not my favorite, that sounds kind of morbid, doesn't it? My favorite death in video game. No. But um, the most memorable death in video game for me is Final Fantasy VII. I mean, everybody my age, you know, I'm in my early 20s. Everybody my age who played Final Fantasy VII... Uh, <laughs> Everybody knows that death, and everybody loves it, I think. Everybody still remembers it, so... 
Um, this is back when Final Fantasy still had, um, let's use Bolt Beam for whatever reason. This is back when Final Fantasy had completely random uh, battles. Um, newer Final Fantasies, and actually most new RPGs, do um, semi-random, I guess. It's uh, enemies spawn on the map, and then you have to run into them nowadays, but I still love this the best. Like, these, this is some of my favorite Final Fantasies ever are built this way. Now, I don't know the entire game, so for people hoping for a speedy run, I know certain parts better than others, but I don't know um, exactly how to like speed run the game or anything, so um, I just want to have fun with you guys um, and just share some, some memories. This is like, oh crap, I think um, we're playing right now is question mark, question mark, question mark. She is the, um, the, the one of the characters in the game, of course, but um, she has some extra skills with her little armor here. I thought there was one that did um, the whole area, but nah, apparently not. I forget which one it is. Not apparently not, but... So, the goal of this is to go down and find, I believe they're looking for an Esper. Is that what we're looking for? And the mines in Narsh is where we need to look. Kinda reminds me of South Park. Did anybody watch South Park and remember like, like Stan Darsh, man? Uh, yeah, there we go. Frozen Esper was found in the mine shaft. Maybe this one. So let us move on. Vixen to Edge. This is kind of an interesting tutorial as well. Like, I look at game design in a different way. Like, game design has changed so much. And you can see it in a game like this, where, I mean, this is clearly a tutorial. This is clearly something to get you to understand the battle system. Because the battle system is really all you need to worry about. And everything here is one-hit kills because of your uh, Magitek armor that you're wearing. Or that they're sitting in. So... Look at it objectively, like from a game design perspective. Um, uh, do you want info about save points? Sorry, sir, I'm not a retard. I can save myself. Um, but from a game design oops, perspective, um, you know, there's a lot that today is handed to players. And that's kind of the, the crappy thing is, you know, you don't get tutorials like this anymore, which are just very basic and don't even look like tutorials. When I was a kid, I never thought this was a tutorial. I thought that was just a part of the game. But realistically, this is a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? So, uh-oh. The Hulk. Oh, this music. Think back to our briefing... This is something else that Final Fantasy never did until this particular game, and I think this is the only game they did it. Um, in battles, you have, um... In-game, like, talking and tutorials inside of battles, which is something I don't think they've ever done since. Don't attack the shell! Alright, I won't. I think they... I remember they said something about lightning, so I'm going to try lightning. And... Uh, Bioblast? Oh, don't attack the shell! Shit, I attacked the shell! Oh my god! What does that mean? Oh god... Oh no... Oh no... Oh no... Oh no. Oh, oh no. I can't even revive her. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, what did they just tell me not to do? <laughs> oh god. I should use the heal. Th no! No, 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 no. Heal first. Heal first. I swear to god, if you don't heal first, I'm gonna- Oh my god. Oh my lord. 
Things are falling apart here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, why couldn't he just attack one person the last time I did that? Okay, you're gonna use heal force on yourself also. No! Okay. So. Things could be going better. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, man. This was supposed to be an easy fight. Like, this is like a um, tutorial, right? But, like, when you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Poke your head out, Mr. Man. Poke your head out. I know you want to poke your head out. Poke your head out, sucker. Don't attack the shell. Don't attack guys. Don't attack the shell. Like, actually, seriously, don't, don't attack the shell. Because, just don't. Alright. He poked his head out. Now let's murder him. I hope you get healed after this. I've literally never had this happen to me. I remember playing this game a few times. I don't remember everything. Like I say, I'm very rusty. But I don't ever remember me ever losing two characters this early in the game, ever. Uh, what happens when you record, eh? I think slime slows your character down, if I'm not mistaken. Which is kind of a pain in the butt, considering I have, you know, one. But... Anybody else just jive into this music right now? Like, I am just... Next to the Final Fantasy VII boss music. I don't know if there's anything better. I really don't. So hopefully, uh, Mr. Vix here, who I messed up his name, now I feel bad. I called him Biggs. Ugh. What a mistake, he's the only guy who's alive. <laughs> Die already, George and Susan, Jeepers Creepers. Don't go back in your shell. I don't think they gave me any revival items. Because I don't think you're supposed to be as stupid as I am and die <laughs> as early in the game as I did. Alright. At the very least, I can treat you to some fantastic boss music. Poke your head out. Come on and poke your head out, sucker. I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise. Just gotta poke your head out. Poke it out. Stick it in the glory hole. Poke it out now. <laughs> that was dirty. George. Jeepers. I don't know why I keep saying George. George and Susan. That's my new exclamatory. He's saying goodbye to his wife and kids because we're about to murder him. Because see, the idea is he pokes his head in and you're supposed to heal up and then continue going. But, um... <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't believe I've done this. Okay. This one's it. One time, one time. This one's it. Come on. Damn it. Come on now. Don't go back in your shell. <laughs> oh my lord. This is it. This time. This is the one. This is the run. Come on. Yes. Alright. So that literally could have taken three times less. Um, but that's, you know... You live and learn. Oh my lord. They didn't even give me a phoenix down or anything. Am I still dead? Oh my god. I am still dead. Oh man. So, do save points uh, revive you in this game? I don't remember. And like the one person to have alive that would be useful would be the question mark character. Because, like I said, she had something that could kill multiple enemies. Except for the fact that when you use it on 
two enemies, one of which you're not supposed to attack. <laughs> uh, we won't talk about that. That'll be like, that'll be our inside joke. Don't attack the shell, guys. <laughs> don't, don't attack the shell. If you haven't yet, uh, follow me on Twitter. Hashtag, uh, uh, Twitter name is at uh, TGaminator. Hashtag don't attack the shell, guys. There we go. Hey, look, the dead people are have risen. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love the end. Oh, ah! <laughs> supposed to oh look at that we're safe we didn't die oh look I'm alive okay so the crown is removed and we have our own free will again This music, though, guys. Oh, my God. Look at how emotive they are. They're so emotive for, like, little six... Like, for a Super Nintendo game, that is just, like, unheard of. My name is Terra! I forgot. I... Did somebody else change the, uh... The letters from caps to, like, uncaps? Because, like... I think it's very odd that everybody has, um, they're all capital names. It drives me nuts sometimes. I can't stand it. The mummies found us. I always thought these were mummies when I was a kid, man. Empire. Magitek armor. So we gotta go out on our own little lonesome. I believe there is a run button, but I don't know if I have it yet. Well, shit. There goes my silent little escape. Um, okay. So we're back in the, uh, the caves here. We're gonna try and escape. But in the meantime, um, we're going to call it for uh, part number one here, guys. So what do you think of Final Fantasy VI? Or what are your memories for Final Fantasy VI? I want to hear from you, Fanonators. Let me know in the uh, comment box below. What are your memories of Final Fantasy VI? It's been 20 years, uh, I believe, in a couple of months. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you liked the video. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And remember, get to the next video now!